I lost 167 pounds this year. The best Christmas present I ever got. And I'm Jewish, so that says a lot. <laughs> I lost 167 pounds. I tried every diet you could ever possibly. Anybody ever tried that Atkins diet? Atkins diet is a weird protein diet where you can have like a dozen eggs and a pound of bacon for breakfast and you lose weight. Two chickens and a turkey and you lose weight. That's the dude who gave like a prime rib and like four steaks and you lose weight. What I, I went on that diet, I lost 90 pounds. Then I made a skateboard and a salad, ate a crouton, gained 90 back right away. <laughs> I weigh 356 pounds a year ago. Oh, yeah, I'm five foot four. <laughs> That's not exactly on the height weight chart. You're five foot four, 356 pounds. You scare people, especially when you get on a plane and you walk down that aisle and you see people sitting next to an empty seat, thinking, "Holy shit! I hope he doesn't sit next to me." I'm going to give you some advice. If you go around the world, you travel, if you go to Mexico, stop eating at Taco Bell for like a month before you go. Because the menu items at Taco Bell are going to screw you up in your land in Mexico. My wife and I are at a beautiful restaurant in Acapulco, overlooking the bay. Waiter comes over, hands us some menus, a very cavalier, and don't even look. I ordered a chalupa. They brought me a puppy covered in chocolate. Oh, don't get me wrong, it was delicious. Just not what I expected at the time. I'm not one of those crazy radical Jews. I don't want you people to freak out. Not me. Uh uh. I love bacon. I love it so much. Sometimes I wrap it around ham. I have a philosophy why Jews don't eat bacon. Follow me on this. 5,700 years ago, the Jews were wandering the desert with Moses, and they were talking to God and writing down the information in the sand. But it was a windy day. And God wrote the sand, don't eat the figs. But because the wind was blowing, it looked like don't eat the pigs. <laughs> yes, that's right. Almost 6,000 years we got screwed by a typo, is what I'm saying. Here's a great story for you. I actually went to Hebrew school when I was a kid growing up in New York. Anybody ever go to Hebrew school by applause? A few people turn to the front row. This was something we had to do in the afternoon after public school. We didn't really want to go. Our parents made us go. After public school, every afternoon for four hours. I was in class one day, and one of the kids was reading something out of a book, and he got it wrong. And the rabbi called on the next kid and the next kid. And all the kids got wrong. And this is how I knew I had a sense of humor at a young age. I'm the last kid in class. And the rabbi calls on me, and I stand up in front of the class. I read in front of the entire class, and I got it right. And the rabbi said, Mr. Goodman, I'm very proud of you. All the kids here today, they should be proud of you. You're a very good student, Mr. Goodman. And I said, thank God. <laughs> I got expelled from Hebrew school for having a sense of humor. <laughs> Fun thing, I went to Africa a couple of years ago. Anybody ever go to Africa? Yeah. It's an amazing experience. Although you shouldn't go when you weigh 356 pounds. Yeah, I landed in Africa and I had all the locals follow me around like I know where the food is. <laughs> It was like the Pied Piper in Zimbabwe, is what it was. <laughs> Went to Japan, I rented a car in Tokyo. Smallest car you've ever seen. 356 pounds, I got in it, my nose was up against the windshield, my ass was jammed up against the back window. <laughs> All day long, a Japanese guy's following around, they thought it was cleavage. 